Marcus Conti reporting. Fucking ass, man. My ass hurts recovering from Gay Pride Day yesterday, man. This shit is crazy, man. Fucking gay for a day, right? Damn. Fucking gay LARPer, right? <laughs> That's the rumor. Conti's the gay LARPer. So we're going to talk about, uh, let's talk about this, this latest LARP. It seems to be getting a lot, of, uh, a lot of attention on the internet right now. Everybody's talking about the case of Aaron, quote, Seth Rich. Aaron, Seth Rich's brother, Aaron Rich, his brother, versus Ed Batowski. Ed Batowski, right? His big case, right? And the inserts, the, the, the crackpots coming on, trying to insert themselves into the story, DeFango, uh, Dave Acton, uh, Matt Couch, that, he's, he's actually named in the suit, and, uh, and a new name, T.S. We're going to talk about this Jack Off. It's Jack Off. Mr. Jack Off T.S. Uh, so Marcus Conti reporting. So, so there is a case that uh, it, this is what it's all about. I want to talk about this. This is this, this is the shit right there. I see this shit. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about a dumpster fire. None of this. This is the most ridiculous garbage, right? LARPs, LARPville, LARP wars, LARPers, idiots. That they're they're teenage. They're teen. They're adults acting like children and teenagers. Where they should be sitting in front of gamings and shit, right? This is what it is. It's a dumpster fire. They're all they're all in the dumpster, and they're all burning, right? They're on fucking fire, man. Garbage. They're all just the whole thing is garbage, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna give you very very specifics as to why. We're gonna look at the case. We're gonna be here for a while, so relax. <laughs> Throw this guy in the dumpster, man. Yo, man, get in the dumpster, and we set you on fire. Uh, so dumpster fire. Before we do that, let's talk about this um, two two little articles, and then we'll, we'll jump into the uh, we'll deep dive into the case of Aaron Rich versus Ed Butowski and the allegations that are are alleged. Uh, because there is a higher conspiracy there. We got to look at it, right? Because it involves the Seth Rich case, the case of Seth Rich, who was allegedly the DNC leaker. He was you know, almost confirmed by Julian Assange that that was the case. We're going to look at all that stuff. But first, let's look at, let's look at, uh, it has, it has heavy political ramification, this Aaron Rich case, because it shows that, that the conspiracy that Russia hacked the election is entwined in this case. I found the case, man, and we're going to look at it. But uh, this is an interesting story. Cartoonist loses job after depicting Trump golfing over drowned uh, migrants. I, and this is the this is the uh, this is the the uh, actual <laughs> graphic, right? Do you mind if I play through, right? And it's Trump looking down at those uh, the 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 guy who swam across the Rio Grande with his kid and drowned, right? I play a little golf. It's a, it's the Italian version version of golf. You keep this in your trunk. And when, when these jack-offs drive up your block, you go outside with your golf club and your golf ball, because I have a golf, a golf course right down the block. I, and, and you have your golf, this, you know, what, and you ask politely, what would you like? Would you like the, the, put, the nine iron or the putter stuffed up your ass? <laughs> so. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, you go, you, you stop building a wall. <laughs> Ow. So, <laughs> sorry about that. So, so do you mind if I play through, right? So a guy gets fired over this, right? Allegedly, the allegation is that uh, that the place fired him. Brunswick News fired the guy uh, a, a, because of something else. It's always because of something else, right? But I don't know. It's just an. I I find freedom in that. I don't. I don't actually like the. I think it's in. I don't know if it's in poor taste. It's not funny. It's not, I mean, it's just, it's just Trump, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a first amendment freedom in this country. What, what is wrong with this? Why? See, you can, you can say it, but then, then there's consequences to what you say, right? We're going to fire you, right? Now, are they, is a, is a news outlet legitimately within their rights to fire somebody they don't like? Yeah, of course they are. But should they? No, not, not if they're a news outlet. One other thing was um, Joe Biden stuck his foot in his mouth again. Awkward gay waiter remark. <laughs> How dare you, Joe? God. 
Uh, so Joe Biden is um, said something, uh, made fun of a gay waiter. Uh, what did he say? Uh, he ref- he used the term gay waiter, and uh, I can't find it. Awkward. A gay waiter while speaking in a blah, 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 public public house. Um, oh, Biden moosed uh, that five years ago. If someone in a business meeting in Seattle made quote made fun of a gay waiter, people would let it go. Uh, uh, that person would uh, now, five years later, that person would not be invited back. Hmm. I would have to take the side of Joe Biden on that one because he's right, right? This is hypersensitivity to, to gender, right? I, know, I mean, this guy's not going to be the president. He's just a schmuck. He has no integrity. He should just say, you know what, man? We're living in pol- political uncorrect times right now. We're living in politically correct times that aren't serving us. And uh, and Trump scores scores points for for breaking that down. So so uh, Biden's comment on on uh, gay gay waiter gay waiter comments fucking nothing man it's so stupid. So here we go. Let's dive into the Aaron Rich Ed Bukowski case. So I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about the actual case. We'll get a background because there's a lot of bullshit artists floating around online right now. A lot of these bullshit artists, so we're going to point them out, we're going to name names, are, are trying to fabricate a story, trying to insert themselves into this bigger story. And, and all these conspiracies about how everyone is grabbing money and working with the CIA and it has a special, special agent this and special contact that, they're all fucking bullshit artists. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what they, what they are. Right? So this is gonna, I'm going to try to be comprehensive in this so that you don't have to keep looking around trying to figure out what's going on. So there is this lawsuit uh, from Aaron Rich, right? He's the brother of Seth Rich, the alleged murdered DNC leaker, right? And he's alleging that a gentleman named Ed Butowski defamed him along with Matt Couch, right? Here's all their addresses. I'm not doxing you guys. This is, here it is, man. It's in the it's in the court record, man. I just Googled it and found it. If you want the court record yourself, right up here. There's the, just drop that into Google and you'll find it. Right, so, so these guys are being sued. Uh, uh, America First Media is Matt Couch. It's a, it's a shit little fucking storyteller. He's a fat guy, right? He's a fucking chubby little kid. Where is he? Here he is. Where is where's Matt? Yeah, hey, come on. Step up to the plate. Is Matt? Ah, fucking Matt. How you doing? I'm fucking Matt. I'm fucking Matt. I'm talking. I'm a news guy. Fucking Matt from, from Arkansas. <laughs> so he's from Arkansas, yeah. So so here's the here's the I, I don't have any respect for these guys, really. I really don't. They're 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 stuck in a in a kind of a right wing conspiracy. They don't know that they're in a rabbit hole. They they follow the Q thing. Oh fucking Q, they're a bunch of idiots. So, so defendant, let's, let's listen to the allegation, the legal allegation, because once you make a legal allegation, that is your story. And this story is very, very revealing of the stupidity of the players. For, for close to a year, defendant Ed Bukowski, Bukowski Matthew uh, Couch, and Couch's organization, America Media, have falsely repeatedly alleged in public statements that plaintiff Aaron Rich is a criminal. Specifically, defendants have claimed to have, quote, proof that Aaron worked with his deceased brother Seth to steal data from the Democratic National Committee, provided and provided that stolen data to the hostile intelligence service WikiLeaks. <coughs> you see the framing? The hostile intelligence service. So right away, you know that Aaron Rich, that's, this is DNC operative protecting the Rich family to make that case go away, right? Because, again, no evidence that Seth Rich was murdered. There's no autopsy, no ballistics, no hospital records, no photos, no witnesses, no video. There's fucking nothing that says this kid died in, this, in July of 2016. There's no evidence, just a lot, a lot of talk. Uh, so, um, so, so these two knuckleheads are, are alleg- alleging that, that Aaron Rich provided that stolen data to the hostile intelligence service, WikiLeaks. Since when is, is WikiLeaks is the most reliable 
publication probably in modern history, right? 18 out of 18 uh, in terms of, I mean, they, they, the documents they have produced have never been shown to be false, right? They're 100% accurate, 100% truthful publication. And that guy is sitting in jail in England, right? So where do you get off, first of all, the framing of the lawsuit is framing WikiLeaks as a hostile intelligence service. Wrong. WikiLeaks is a publisher, right? So WikiLeaks, in exchange for payment into Aaron's bank account, right? So, so these two guys, Batowski and Couch, are saying Aaron Rich stole the information along with his brother Seth from the DNC and then, and then wanted money, saying that they, they wanted money to sell the information to WikiLeaks. And that's just simply not how it works, right? That's not how, how, how that publication thing works. Nonetheless, they're free to speculate, right? Because why? Because the police are not investigating the case, right? The FBI is not investigating the case. So you give kudos to uh, Matt Couch and Ed Bukowski for sticking their nose in there. That's journalism, right? They don't have a case, right? So listen, Matt Couch and Batowski, right away, right? This is a bullshit case. You guys are full of shit, but these guys are more full of shit because they're trying to violate your First Amendment case rights. This is a First Amendment case. This is freedom to publish. You have credible information up your ass somewhere hiding your information. You've got proof. I've got proof. How many times does the media say they got proof? They got a, a, a special informant inside that's telling them the, the inside leak. Uh, they're free to do that, right? The word proof is their vernacular, and they're allowed to use that word. I'm, I'm okay with them using it. So First Amendment, guys, just get on, get on board with that, Ed. Fucking Ed, man. Uh, so, so, um, so exchanged. So they're saying that uh, WikiLeaks paid them and engaged in deceitful and obstruction of justice to cover his tracks after Seth was murdered. There is no proof that Aaron engaged in any of the alle alleged conduct. So Aaron Rich is a, is now a public figure. He's sticking his nose out on television. You can't cry. You can't cry personal. Uh, uh, per, I'm a, a private person. No, you went on ABC and you gave your story in front of the cameras. Car cameras. Public figure. Public figure. You can say whatever you want about a public figure. Just short of I want to kill him. Right. Um, so, but defendants are not interested in the truth. Right? Aaron is, n there is no proof that Aaron engaged in any of the alleged conduct, nor could he have been. But defendants are not interested in truth. That's true. You guys are definitely not interested in the truth. Instead, defendants are motivated by personal notoriety, financial gain, and naked partisan aims. Damn right you are. Fucking damn right. A desire to... De de here's the big one, right? And namely, here's where it gets... Here's the conspiracy, the Russia conspiracy, f overflowing into this case. A desire... These guys, Buktowski and Couch, have a desire to discredit allegations that the Trump campaign colluded with the Russian government in 2016 hack of the DNC and, and the subsequent dissemination of DNC documents to WikiLeaks. Right? Now, that's, that's a heavy statement, right? They're saying that Ed and, and Couch are working to, to, to hide the fact that Russia hacked the election and use a conspiracy theory to, to set it. This is so fucking stupid. It's such a stupid thing because all of this comes after the fact, right? This, is, this bullshit started in, in, in 2017, after Trump was already in office. The leaks and all of, this, all of the, the real WikiLeaks involvement was April, May, June 2016. Everything transpired before the Democratic National convention. See, these guys are, they don't know the fucking facts. Couch and the other idiot, right? And Corsi and uh, Oliver Stone and Roger Stone. These guys are running around with their heads up their ass. They go to, 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 to Jason, Jason Juman and give the story to him. And, and Jason has no fucking idea of politics. So, so Corsi's on there talking about this Seth Rich stuff and, and George Webb and Jason are like this, uh-huh, uh-huh. They don't know what they're talking about because they didn't follow the story from the beginning, right? The hack occurred in April, May, June. No Russian agents. It was a clear hack. Allegedly, 
Seth Rich was a Bernie Sanders supporter, right? And he was in direct contact with WikiLeaks. That is confirmed, right? Bill Benny confirmed it. Right? I'll talk about that too. So, um, so Aaron's younger brother was murdered in Washington D.C. on uh, on on the seventeenth, right? So that's that's the overview, right? And and there's there's another sixty pages of of these allegations by Aaron Rich that Couch and Butowski tried to defame him, um, right? His, his, Aaron Rich worked with his brother to steal the DNC documents. These are the allegations. You got to get this out of the way, to get the spin out of the way. Included by serving uh, technology expert, right? So, so it talks all about who, who Aaron Rich is and why he's so harmed. He, he's a private citizen. It's just, it's just bullshit, right? But the most revealing part of the, the lawsuit, when I, read, when I read the beginning of it, is that the, the, the allegation is that, that Buktowski and Couch, two right-leaning knuckleheads, cons- they call themselves conservatives, they wear the st- put the suit on, they miss the <laughs> Trump, Trump can do no wrong, are, are, are doing this so that, so that uh, it, it looks like it looks like the, that the Russians didn't hack the election. Right? Now, we know that that. We know that the, the, the Russians didn't hack the DNC. Right? We know that. Right? And so you, you follow what I'm saying. So, so this lawsuit, and I'll, I'll move on. I'm sorry. I'm going too, too far into this, uh, into this lawsuit. But here you go. There's fucking 60 pages of unequivocal bullshit, legal talk. Legal, lawyer, this, look, the, all these guys with their, with their fake lawsuits... None of this is impressive. Uh, it's not impressive at all. Uh, here's, the, here's the outrageous comments that Couch made. Our teams are digging into the brother of Seth Rich, Aaron Rich. He has top secret security clearance, and the IT know how to make you go, hmm. Uh, so here's, here's, here's Matt Couch doing a little PR stuff for his, for his, uh, his, his booming business, right? A fat boy in Arkansas, right? He's got hats. Who fucking how did he steal that? He stole that idea, man. Fucking jerk off, stealing this shit. I'm the hat guy, Matt. I wear the hat. I wear the hats, Matt. Uh, so there's more more nonsense here, right? Uh, so that's the lawsuit. Here's Ed Bukowski, right? Is Ed Ed B- Bukowski a real guy? Yeah, he is. Look at his relationships, Here he is. and maybe express your feelings towards him directly. I just want you to see his face and hear his voice to know that he's a real person. He used to work for Fox. Um, of any kind and do it for the rest of your life. I could do that. And I just don't know if that's proper. So right, so there he is. Subject. He's whipping some kind of stupid conspiracy in a video. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't even care. Uh, so here is here's here's how it ties into we're gonna go we're gonna go progressively uh, uh, across the board, and and understand it fully. So now in on again when the when when the Mueller report came out, who told you page forty eight was the whole shit right there? Page forty eight when he mentions Seth Rich, Conti told you that. You remember when Conti told you that the day after that the whole case leans on the fact. That Mueller's going to try to say that Russia hacked the election. Twelve GRU Russian agents swooped in and hacked. There's no proof of it. There's no evidence. It, it, the Hillary Clinton, they dumped the whole server on CrowdStrike, erased the thing, and put in fake, fake stuff, right? But on page 48, here's the allegation made by Mueller, right, that uh, as reported, uh, attributing the DNC hacks to Russia government uh, emerged. WikiLeaks and Assange made several public statements appearing, uh, apparently designed to obstruct the source of the material that WikiLeaks was releasing. Mueller never even asked a Julian Assange where he got the evidence. They never, they never questioned Assange, even when Assange said, I'd be happy to tell you where I got it. I'd be happy to testify in court. And, and, and Mueller never did it. So, Again, the exact the a- accusations that that um, that WikiLeaks uh, had emerged. WikiLeaks and Assange made several statements apparently designed to obstruct. The, the allegation that WikiLeaks tried to obstruct is ridiculous. He was voluntarily uh, willing to speak to Mueller, and Mueller refused. 
The file transfer evidence described above and other information uncovered during the investigation discredit WikiLeaks' claim about the source of the material that is posted. Well, there's no proof of that, right? There's no, there's no evidence of that at all. Beginning in the summer of 2016, Assange and WikiLeaks made a number of statements about Seth Rich, a former DNC staff member who was killed in July 26, 2016. The statements about Rich imply falsely that he had been the source of the stolen DNC emails. He, Rich implied falsely. The WikiLeaks statement about Rich fall, implied falsely that, that Seth Rich was the, was the leak without any proof, without, without one stitch of evidence. So that is, that's the compounded line of bullshit, right? And again, all this is coming after the fact. This, Mueller released this almost two years after the fact, right? Trying to make the, make the Seth Rich thing go away. Because it is very important, right? I've said it all along. If the DNC was hacked by an American citizen, was the, the information was stolen, and decimated to, uh, disseminated to, <laughs> decimated, disseminated to WikiLeaks in an effort to save our democracy. That is very, very significant in a very, very different story, and blows the Democratic talking point out of the water that the Russians hacked the election. It is huge. It is a huge talking point. So, so that's why this LARP is is fascinating to me because it tries to hijack the story of what really happened with the DNC leak. Uh, so, again, Julian Assange, in his own words, I know I played it, I played it how many times already? Listen again to Julian Assange tell you, right, in, in when is this? This is uh, published, I don't know. <laughs> no, it was published in um, early, uh, early, uh, late July, I believe late July of 2016. So listen to Julian Assange. Donald Trump has had a disastrous few weeks. If you look at the polls, he needs a miracle. Um, in the American political lexicon, there's such a thing as the October surprise. The stuff that you're sitting on, uh, is, is an October surprise in there? We Do you even know what you're sitting on? WikiLeaks never sits on material. Uh, our whistleblowers go to significant efforts to get us material, and often very significant risks. As a 27-year-old, uh, works for the DNC, who was shot in the back, murdered uh, just two weeks ago uh, for un unknown reasons as he was walking down the street in Washington. So that was, that was just a robbery, I believe, wasn't it? No, it's, there's no finding. So uh, what that's are you the suggesting? Sort of, what are you suggesting? Well, I'm suggesting that our sources uh, take. If you were Robert Mueller, wouldn't you want to talk to this guy? Wouldn't you want to say, hey, man, what do you know? Dude, you're the publisher of the information. Wouldn't you want to know? If you really wanted the truth in the matter, you would go to the publisher and you would cut a deal with the publisher, right? He's not a hostile intelligence agency. He is a publisher of truthful information. Right? But Mueller never did that, which makes the whole case totally null and void. Anything that Mueller says is, is just based on speculation. Take risks, and they, are, they become concerned uh, to see things occurring uh, like that. But was he one uh, of your sources then? I mean... We don't comment on who our sources but are. Why but why make the suggestion about a young guy being shot in the streets of Washington? Because uh, we have to understand uh, how high the stakes are uh, in the United States. The biggest shame in, in, in our modern history is locking this guy up. Uh, it, really is, it really is the torturing of Julian Assange. The locking up of, of this guy is just... And that our sources are... Bad. You know, our sources face serious risks. Uh, that's why they come to us, so we can protect uh, their anonymity. So you can watch that on your own. Here's the address, right? It's Julian Assange on Seth Rich. Over oh, close to a million views already. A million people know that. All right, so here's another interesting clip, right? So did Julian Assange communicate... Did Re Seth Rich communicate with Julian Assange? Well, yes. According to Bill Benny, right, there, and the NSA has 32 pages of communications between Seth Rich and Julian Assange, right? And here's the article at, at here's the article. Oh, look, Medium took it down. Medium took down the article that talks about that. 
oh boy, see the, how the conspiracy thickens? It's funny too because if you if you go to um, if you Google uh, Seth Rich Seth Seth Rich emails to WikiLeaks, what does it say? The first the first article Mueller report the Seth Rich conspiracy theory needs to end now. Right? Seth Rich was not the source of the leaked DNC emails. Good job, good job, Google. Take out the truth. And replace it with a bunch of fucking lies, right? right? And people got to dig, right? You got to dig to find that. I, I only found it because I found it when it came out, right? Where, where Bill Benny talks about, uh, talks about this, right? So that's confirmed. 15, 32 pages, 15 emails, I believe, right? Uh, were, were trans, uh, were trans um, transferred from Seth Rich to Julian Assange. They were talking to each other. Seth Rich, what were you talking about? Aren't you interested, Mueller? Didn't you get Seth Rich's his, uh, 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 laptop and see what the hell they were talking about? Isn't that important? So, so what else? So here's, okay, so now let's, let's turn the page into the LARPer, the LARPer nonsense, right? So here's, here's fat gay uh, defango calling me gay LARPer. This is just comedy, right? Because, again, the, the object of these idiots, rather than to, rather than to, to, to lean in the, in the truth, what they do is they try to smear the messenger. In this case, I guess I'm the messenger. I'm just doing my job because I think it's, it's interesting and fascinating how, how these guys go down the rabbit hole and then cut each other up, like, you know, ruthlessly cutting each other up. So now they've decided to cut me up. You see, you saw the whole Dave, hello, this is, hey, this is Dave. Hello, hi, this is Dave. Right? And, and you got to watch him eat and, 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 and uh, talk down about you. <laughs> So here's Defango calling me a gay LARPer. This is funny. I mean, it's pretty clear to me that that's what's going on with this particular one. Because everything that this fucking idiot has been sending me has been nothing but uh, ridiculousness. So, yeah, that's hell. And and you see this name, T.S., bro. Fucking Thomas, whatever your name is. You're, it's coming. Stand by, jerk off. Fire. Started sending me emails about one year ago. And his main topic has been TS and TS related. That's Thomas Schoenberger. This guy's name keeps popping up, so I'm going to talk about him. So, yeah, it's, like, kind of weird to be the... He, he's a kind of a nobody in the scene, but he keeps trying to push himself into the scene. And the Fango apparently worked with him or scared of him or some, some fucking shit. And we're, we're, we'll talk about Thomas Schoenberger and how the, how the, the latter part of the, uh, the spin spins, right? Because now the story, now you know the front part of the story. And now we're going to take, take it to the latter part where these guys are interjecting into the picture. Like they're trying to coerce, you know, grab the story and steer it in their own way, like a good LARPer does. So we're going to watch. Now you'll watch how, why it, how, it starts to make sense about, about Dave Acton attacking his brother and, and, and insulting Defango and, and suing uh, Jason Goodman. There's another character suing Jason Goodman, this, this other guy, Robert David Steele. I don't know anything about that. That's that's total bullshit, right? That he's suing Jason because they all think Jason is is some rich queer that lives in you know in the West Village, right? They're like they're sending me the emails, and now he's sending them out to me and him, thinking that people are gonna not either be like, hmm, is this probably just TS just emailing me off of fake? You know, when someone you remember in high school when someone calls you a fag. Oh, he's a fag. Oh, he's a homo. You better watch that guy. He's a homo. He'll try to suck your dick or something, right? That's what this is right here. This is this is this is the fango up against the wall, right? And 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 trying to then then accusing me of being a homo. He's probably a homosexual, right? That's why he likes George and Jason. 
Ow, damn, they're fucking butt buddies. Make it count again, or could this consideringly be one of his friends? I don't know. But whoever it is, the life. guy's obviously a fucking piece of shit. And there's really nothing to worry about it, I don't think. I By the way, Defango, you look like the, the you look like Mario Brothers. First of all, you look like a fucking you look like that Mario Brother guy, right? And 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 you know, someone was someone was here the other day, and they they were watching me watching watching Defango, and they were like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" Fucking god damn, it was a woman. She ran out of the room. Just needed to make sure that I put it out there and showed it up so that everybody could see that. Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? We begin a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff happening right now. Talk about it, Defango. We've been getting a lot of stuff happening. YouTube, but yeah, we got Marcus Conte. Because Defango didn't get his way in the interview. And what they're trying to do is the object of the LARPer is to is to infiltrate media people, people with a voice, people with a platform, pe news media. Just, just it's the dumpster fire. Throw garbage on the dumpster and try to set the fire. Try to, try to interject little pieces of the narrative for your own gain, right? To try to swing the story in, in your direction, whether knowingly or unknowingly, whether the useful, the, the willful idiot or the voluntary idiot. <laughs> I think those are the same. It, it doesn't really matter. But here's, here's Defango smearing me. Gay LARPer. Yeah. High school. We're in high school. So pretty much, I mean, my, my theory... He goes up to the board or he spray paints in the hallway. Conti's a gay LARPer. Let's, let's listen to his reasoning. Why? Right now is that Marcus Conti is gay and that he's also a LARPer. And I think that there's just like two other boxes over here that help hold him up, but we don't really know. Defango, you're just jealous that I'm not attracted to you what those two boxes are but yeah marcus conti's another individual he said confirmed didn't he i missed that my theory right now is that marcus conti is gay and that he's also a larper and i think that there's just like two other boxes over here that help hold them up but we don't really know what those two boxes are but yeah marcus conti's another individual that uh just so happened to be emailing me today it's kind of weird how like this stuff comes in waves all of a sudden so yeah uh we got marcus county the gay larper this right here is confirmed so first it's a theory it's a theory that i'm gay and now two sentences later he's confirmed yeah confirmed we're yeah. confirmed on the gay and the larper part so like no. And now I'm the LARPer, right? Because I do a, a do I I do a cover story, a story about LARPers, and now and now the media guy becomes the LARPer, right? Now <laughs> it's so stupid. No argument there on that one. But yeah, that's just the next guy that we had the email we got an email from, so let's just take a look at it. So All right, so that's him that's him smearing me. Now he's gonna go through a bunch of uh emails <clears throat> and I'll talk about that. Here's here's the here's where the, the story gets funny. So there's this other character, right? His name is Thomas Schoenberger, right? Schoenberger. I don't have a picture of him. I don't know what his voice looks like. So Thomas Jewenberger, right? I don't know who you are. I don't know who the fuck you are, right? You, you've asked me for interviews. I, I want to show you how many, how many times this idiot, how many times this fucking moron has emailed me with, no, with nonstop bullshit. Hi, I'm Thomas, right? And he's just he's just totally full of shit. He keeps asking me to 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 let him come on the show and defend himself against the things that the Fango said. Now I don't know I don't know who he is, but they all keep talking about him. The Fango keeps talking about him as he had a business relationship to him. So I'm starting to believe that he's a real person. But I still haven't seen a picture. So I I so right I don't know who he is. So I say fuck you. I don't even know who you are, man. Go away. Go away, Sonny. Go away. I shoo him off. So, so he, he keeps emailing me, and now he says this. This is um, two days ago, three days ago. I was disposed and voluntarily brought evidence they needed. So he's being stuck into the Seth Rich case, right, as a willful idiot, right? Because you have to also understand that if the motivation of Aaron Rich, that party, is to confirm that Russia hacked the election and that 
Couch and Butowski were trying to shift it to to something else. That Seth Rich was a cover for the Russians. <laughs> you see how stupid that is. That Seth Rich is now a cover for the Russians. Right? He's cover. It's dumb, right? So so you have to say that that if if T S Mister Mister Thomas Mister um, uh, Thomas here is defending that side, that means he is on that side. He believes that bullshit. He's willing to promote that. Whether he believes it or not, he's willing to promote it, right? And now he smears his friend, DeFango. DeFango is now in deep trouble, well beyond any civil trouble. Listen, Thomas, in a civil case, when criminal allegations are made, you're a, you're a fool, you're an idiot, and you don't know what you're talking about. When you make f- criminal allegations in a civil suit, the lawyers are not even, then I don't believe they're even allowed. It's so unethical to then try to in, in, insert criminal charges into a civil suit. Now, I don't know if you know that, but you should look it up. Get your fucking Dave Act and, 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 and ask him, right? So just stupidity, right? So he sends me this, this document that says, oh, I was subpoenaed and I gave testimony. Who cares? The case is stupid, Thomas, Mr. Thomas, whatever so, uh, so I asked him, what do I ask him? I said, send me the evidence. Right? When, he, when he makes the allegation against DeFango is in deep trouble, great, send me the evidence. I, I'll look at it. I, I'll look at it. That's what I do, right? You send me something. Uh, I, I make my email available to you, and you send me something, right? So I, now, we're, now I'm working with a source. Don't conscrew it as I'm, I'm conspiring with some, with some fucking moron online about a Seth Rich conspiracy. That's not what's happening. What, what I am doing is responding to a potential source. Because up until this point, I don't think he's real. Now, I hear DeFango talking about him. I heard um, Nathan Alifta Vale talking about him. There's people, there's people talking about Dave Acton talks about him. They, they're mentioning the guy's name. So now, he doesn't appear in the lawsuit as far as I could see up to this point. But so they're talking about him. So now I'm listening to him. Okay, all right. What do you know, Jerkoff? Get put the evidence on the table. I don't, you know, I don't have time for you. So he tells me, uh, I said, send send me the send me the evidence, and he sends me this document uh, that he appeared three days ago in L.A. and gave his testimony. Great. So um, he, they're sending me all kinds of other shit too. There's other people sending stuff too. Just just lay off of it, because right? it's it's you're 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 embarrassing yourself. Right? And he so uh, what else? So so there's the there's the document. He appears and he makes the statement here. Um, it was anything that he want. Uh, this this is the part that that intrigued me and and was willing to move forward with him as a source to see. If it's true or not, right? On top of that, I was in the room, quote, I was in the room on September 20th, 2017, when Ed, Ed Patowski, asked us to illegally wiretap the rich family. DeFango agreed. I refused, as did the woman. Wow, now that's a heavy, that's a heavy allegation to make. If this guy is truthful, that's a, that's a breaking story, right? Give me the evidence. Why are you reaching out to me with your story? Great. I like your story. I asked you for the evidence of the fact. And what does he do? So you'll see how, he, how, how they move the goalpost. He doesn't have anything. The, guy's a, the guy has nothing. Right? So I say, I reply very politely, very professionally, like I always do if I think a source is valid. I would be happy to publish your story in a video if you give me the goods. Instead, you tell me that's for the court. Right? I asked him, I said, well, send me the evidence. And he says, oh, no, no that's for the court. <laughs> Great. He says that, um, I, I said, um, yeah, I cannot give you a PDF of what I said. That's for court. If the fango finds out, he can make excuses. What does that mean? He can, what the fuck are you talking about, you moron? I'm sorry, he is a moron, but I, it's just fun to say he's a moron. I would be happy to publish your story in a video if you give me the goods. Are you guys seeing how, how ridiculous this LARPing is? How, how, 
how sinister and 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 cutthroat these guys are. They'll they'll waste the court's money. They're wasting your money. How many cases do they have? Three cases, four cases, paying off lawyers. Who's pay? Who's slipping the bill for the judges, the court officers? They don't give a shit. They don't care. They don't fucking care. They're just they're suing each other and trying to use the the judicial system as a way to extort information out of the friend out of their friend next door. That's what they're doing because when someone sues you, you got to answer, and then they pick apart the answer. It, it's witch hunting. It's the identical thing that happened with WikiLeaks. You're guilty. They try to ins- insinuate you're guilty, and then you got to try to prove your innocence. And as you're doing that, they're taking your information and exploiting it uh, publicly, right? It's very underhanded. And if you don't know what you're doing, you could you could fall into traps. These guys are fucking they're, they're vultures, right? So again, I say I say. I would be happy to publish a story in a video if you give me the goods. Instead, you tell me that's for court, right? Uh, So why come to me, right? Why come to me if you got the information to the court? So I quote, you said, I was in the room on September 20th when Ed Patowski asked us to illegally wiretap the the rich family. Defango agreed I refused, as did the woman, right? So I say, okay, do you have a recording of Patowski saying that? And the woman disagreeing and Defango agreeing. Do you have a recording of the, of the incidents? Because you don't have any credibility. Your testimony is doo-doo. But do you have a recording? Because if you do, now we have something to talk about. Now we have evidence. Right? But, but, but the, or any photos, little videos, anything that puts you four in the room at that time together. Right? That's all. Is that, a simple, is that a hard thing to ask? Just, just give me the evidence, and I'll, and I'll talk about it, right? If it's true, just because you are calling to question and a half, ba- you, you're called to question. I tell him that because you're named in the defamation suit, that isn't much, right? Without tangible evidence, you will come off as a bullshit peddler, a disgruntled employee. If all you have is your testimony, for starters, make a short video of yourself saying it. Look into the camera and tell your story. You are alleging criminal conspiracy. Prove it. Right. Prove it. Now, but what, what these guys try to do, as I said, they try to seed their story into stupid people that, that just repeat, oh, no, this guy's a source. Oh, this guy's, like, connected in some way to the... And, and then they get, they get morons to repeat the story, right? right? So, and I ask them, can you kindly give me a fucking picture of yourself and a, v- a video because... Hey, you know what? This is the internet, man. And if you're not a good guest, and I don't like your face, and I don't like your voice, you're not going to come on my show, right? I'm not. I don't want you. I don't give a shit about your story, right? I don't give a shit about talking to you unless I believe that there's something to talk about. Because if you're just going to come on and spoo your bullshit, then do that somewhere else. Just make a video of you spooing your bullshit and send it around, and people will pick up on it if they feel like it. Uh, that's what I'm trying to tell tell the guy, right? So. Let's continue with his story. You are the researcher, Marcus. You can so he just totally disregards he's coming to the publisher for for to publish his story. Now he he moves the goalpost. He tries to twist it and use his the bully tactic. Here's where these guys call this, you know, they start saying it's cyberbullying and hacking and, and trying to twist twist uh, the arm of the, the, the other person. There is that going on, but it's really it falls on deaf ears. Right, as you could see, it's like if you could see what they're doing. Right, that's what this is about. This is a this is a kind of a a whistleblower video on on the nature of these guys. Right, just to, you don't have to ignore them. I don't ignore them because he says he says he has something juicy. All right, I'm listening, jerk off. Give me the juicy or go away. All right, so. So here's his response to the to instead of giving me the juicy story and the, the thing that I asked him, he says, um, "I've attached a, a video of Jib and he he see, oh that's what he did." So he CCs we're having a, a confidential discussion, and then he CCs this other person Jib and Steve Outram the 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 researcher that had that I had on the show three days ago right Steve Outram from from New Zealand he CCs them into a private discussion. About about this information, right? It's you, there's no credibility. Fuck you, <laughs> done, right? You you're not you're not believable. You're you're not you're not workable, right? That's that's I that's from my perspective as a as a 
as a person who does this uh, every day. They can confirm, talk to them. They can confirm DeFango himself admitted he was in the room with Trevor. Uh, so what? So what? Who cares? They, DeFango says a lot of things. You say a lot of things. It's all fucking talk. It's all it is. Right? Joe Burkick connected, and then he rattles off all these stupid names. He insults me. So you speak through both sides of your mouth. You allow DeFango to make speculations and give him a platform. You demand I give you information you can easily find yourself. How can I easily find, there's evidence floating around that I could find myself, a recording of, of Ed Bukowski committing uh, a, a criminal conspiracy to wiretap someone's family? I can find that jerky, jerky. Where? So, so, and then I'll, I'll end here. So, so I, I tell him, okay, jerky, go fuck yourself. Go peddle your bullshit somewhere else. End of discussion, right? So, I shut the door on this guy, right? I shut the door, and he continues, right? Continuing the badger. Oh, the real Marcus Conti, everyone. Ha 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 ha. Right? Burners. Now he insults the politics. Burners are so sensitive when they when you reveal their Bolshevik agenda. Now you're now you're a communist. Fucking they're morons. Right? You are you are in the Fango camp, as I suspected, Marcus. <coughs> See now there's a conspiracy that he's trying to pair me with the Fango. Right? All because I re- all because I did a story on LARPers. All because I did a story on LARPers and and the uh, and this this Aaron Rich case. This is the shitstorm you get afterwards. And I told you that that's what happened, right? So now he's trying to the, the last one he, he does is he tries to turn me against the Fango, right? Because he sends me the gay LARPer video. Now I had already seen it. He, somebody else sent it to me. So I find that look, I don't find that insulting, or I just find it stupid and funny, right? It, it, it's funny in a stupid way that a grown man is is playing the homo card on a guy he can't beat with with his brain because he's not as smart, right? He's not as intelligent, right? And he's not able to do it, right? So he he reverts to a homo joke. Oh, Conti's a gay larper, confirmed, right? So. So, so this, this parody lives, that's, that's um, Steve Juenberger, Thomas Juenberger, whatever, uh, saying that he's trying, to make, he's trying to make it out to seem that I'm against, that DeFango's against you. See, he smeared you. Now, DeFango's a liar. DeFango said, oh, what a great interview. And then he turns around and says, oh, that was a shitty interview. Right? All in, like, in the course of one day. So... So um, the reason I like Titus and Steve is that they discuss real life events. Marcus, listen, you emailed the Fango's conversations. So when I said "fuck you," I sent that to the Fango too to let him know that these guys are out to screw you, the Fango. I, I tipped off the Fango. I said, "The Fango, this is your friend. This guy's looking to fuck you, and and he's probably in court lying, saying that." That you that you told you wanted to go and bug Seth Rich's family's house, right? That's what he's saying, right? Uh, so, so now <laughs> you can't make this up. I mean, these guys are these guys are way in. I tried to warn you, as did others. Well, all, all we all did. Who's we? Who the hell are you, man? You're an idiot, man. You're fucking nobody, jerky. I hope you choose to stick to good report. And now he's going to school me on reporting, right? So, 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 wow, what a deep dive, right? So you see, you see the, um, the, the, the dumpster fire. Let's watch the dumpster fire again, right? Here's the dumpster fire, right? So that's what it is, right? I told you the whole thing, the whole story of these LARPers is a dumpster fire. It's, it's garbage, and it piles up, and then some somebody flicks a match in there and says, <laughs> "We're fucking fire! <laughs> We're fucking fire!" Right? That's what that's what these guys are, right? So, so how does it pertain to the big picture? And then I'll I'll let you go. I, this is one of the longest videos I've ever did without a guest, <clears throat> but it is it is funny and it is interesting. And if you're still watching it, you get my point. Is that that um, is it is it dangerous? Is it harmful what these guys do to each other and to others? Um, I, don't, I don't really know. I don't really have an answer to that. I believe in freedom of speech and freedom of the press. 
and you're allowed to send whatever you want. If you step over the line, like if you're driving up my block, you know, and I happen to be playing golf, you're not going to have a good outcome. Or if you're, you know, uh, you know, mailing threats and all that stuff, that's a different, that's a different equity. You step over the line, that, then it's, it's criminal prosecution, not a lawsuit. We come at you with guns drawn. Right? That's how that works, right? So, so I don't, I don't, I, I don't find any harm in, in Matt Couch and Ed Batowski saying what they said. My problem is when, when Aaron Rich allows the DNC operatives to help assist him to sue these guys into silence and oblivion, and then have have leeches like Defango and uh, Thomas Thomas uh, Schoenberger, Thomas Paine too. Uh, Goodman and Webb and, and Dave Acton attach themselves to the story, right? That's a problem, right? They're attaching themselves to a fake, uh, a, a frivolous lawsuit. The lawsuit is frivolous because there was no Russian, there was no intention, right? That lawsuit implies intention, that they were trying to steer people away from, from the initial narrative of Seth Rich, right? There's, how do you, you can't prove that, right? It's a bogus case designed to to torture you, and then and then in come the the um, the leeches that pile on, trying the opportunists trying to attach themselves to the story. All of which in, that I've talked about are all come latelys. They all came after the fact. Uh, so chew on that for a while, and uh, you know again, I, I'm I just speak the truth, right? I don't I have no agenda. You know, if you want to buy my, you want to buy me, you want to buy me, Thomas. Hey, man, you want to buy me? You want to buy me? Put $100 right here. You see this? See this, Jerky? You see this, PayPal? Drop $100 in there, shut your hole, and maybe, maybe I'll give you five minutes. I'll give you, I'll charge you right now five, five, $100 for five minutes of your bullshit. All right? I'll talk to you for five minutes on camera, and I'll publish that. Give me a hundred dollars, right? You want to, you, you, I, I don't, I don't usually take money from, from, for real stories, but you're full of shit. So if you want to promote your bullshit, I'll just, I'll, I'll put a disclaimer up and I'll let you talk for five minutes. Give me a hundred dollars and we, we got a deal, man. We got a deal, man. Thomas, you're a good fucking negotiator, man. You're good, dude. You are good, man. You fucking, you're really, you're good, man. You're a talented dude, man. Congratulations, man! I'm gonna get you're gonna you're gonna get your time, man. What's a hundred dollars? It's no big deal. How much money are you getting paid from these idiots that are, you know, trying to promote your fake stories? I don't know how you make money. I don't even care. It doesn't matter because you're a fool, and you know. And and if you want to come on here and 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 challenge me for five minutes, it'll cost you a hundred dollars. And when you start saying something stupid at five minutes, I shut you off. Right? So, Marcus Conte reporting. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Become a Patreon if you're watching this and you want to, you know, see the story continue. That's uh that's a good thing to do, right? This is what I do, man. This is my this is my way. Marcus Conte reporting and don't forget to subscribe because YouTube is uh unsubscribing.